Hi guys, this video we will be uh, going through the installation of the Clicky Web Analytics and this is another analytics platform that I will recommend you to install within your websites along with the Google Analytics and uh, PV Analytics. If you have not watched my video on how you can install the PV Analytics then you can go to my channel and uh, find out the video that I have created for you to easily know how you can install the PV Analytics. In this video we will be going through the installation and uh, commissioning of the Clicky Web Analytics. For you to do that you will have to go on to clicky.com c l i c k y dot com and you have to register yourself there. They allow normally with one account three websites. So here I'll use one of my my emails to register with them. Registration is very simple. It's just the normal stuff that uh, we all have been uh, uh, going through for registering for a particular website. In that particular one thing that they ask during the registration is what website do you want to track? To? Now I'm sure you do not add the HTTP because it has already been added in the, in the front. So now you just have to write your domain name with TLD and tick mark enable on-site analytics and click on the register. Once you have done that, uh, you will see that that has been added to your account and you can change some of the default settings below or grab the tracking code here. So they are giving you the tracking code for you to put it up on to your website. Now because we are going to make use of WordPress, let us see if we have to install that particular code or installing the plugin will be enough. So you'll have to go into your WordPress dashboard for the particular website which you are adding the clicky analytics on. Go and click on the add new plugin section and write the clicky or clicky by Yoast. And that is what you'll see that. Install that plugin. Activate it. Once you are done, once you have activated, you will be able to see that particular plugin into the settings section. However, before you do that, you may have seen that there was something clicky is installed and you need to include some API key and also. Anyhow, we can even go there to the clicky dashboard and this is where we can add the site ID, the site key and the administration site key. So that you will also find it here. Now, but where you will be able to find out, so we can know from here. Go to your user homepage and click and click preferences under the name of the domain. So let us go on to the name of the domain that is here and here is a preferences. In that preferences, we should be able to get the site ID, site key and administration site key and database server under site information. So when we have clicked on the preferences, we have seen this is the site information and these is my site ID. So I'll copy from that and paste it into the site ID field and I, I need the site key. I'll copy the site key from that and paste it in the site key field here and also I'll get the admin site key from the clicky dashboard. Come back to the WordPress dashboard and paste in the field where I ask for the admin site key. Advanced settings you have to ignore the admin user because you don't want to track yourself. Disable the cookies if you want. If you don't want, I'll leave it blank like that. If you don't want clicky to use cookies on your site, check this button. Why don't you unique will instead be determined based on IP addresses? That's what I want exactly. So I'll disable the cookies on that. Track names of 
commenters it's the outbound link pattern if you want to change the link pattern of any outbound links uh, then you can install or you can just put that particular word and any outbound link will be followed by that particular text that you write here and anyway, I don't feel that to write anything that I just click on update click the settings and uh, whatever information I was supposed to give it out on the plugin I have already given it out okay so now we can go to the dashboard and this is how your dashboard is going to look like now one thing you have to understand here they allow you to register three websites with one account because this is completely free and they give you the even the heat maps if you may have gone to the clicky.com then uh, you may have seen into the slider how they show now here uh, because I'm logged in I won't be able to see that uh, what is a heat map it is basically let me show you exactly you see that that is the one uh, heat map yeah how and where the people are clicking onto your website you will be notified with those colors and it will be very direct indication to you on which area of your website needs to be optimized for better uh, visitor experience and all this so clicky is really really good for uni analytics for you to have in your arsenal uh, whenever you have even if you have one website or multiple websites you must use the clicky analytics uh, if you want to install the tracking code there is no problem for that you just go to the preferences and under the preferences you'll be able to find out the tracking code uh, let us uh, log in again and i'll show you and that is uh, the code now they have already written here click here to check if we have a plugin for your platform so you won't need to install the tracking code manually now here we have already installed the clicky plugin and we have configured it with the site id site key and the administration site key so you do not need to install the tracking code manually it takes care of itself so you don't have to do anything manually now okay so that is how you install the clicky analytics onto your wordpress platform and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos thank you for watching this video